Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Plant-Based Kidney Health. And our question that Dr. Hashmi is going to be answering for us today is, what is the relationship between saturated fat and kidney disease? And can you dive a little deeper into saturated fat coming from something like coconut oil, oil or looking at MCT oil? Yeah, great question. So when it comes to saturated fat, we don't have any well-designed studies that would say, absolutely, this is the link going on. What we do have in humans is correlation studies. So what does that mean? That means A is linked to B, not necessarily A causes B or B causes A. So what's the bottom line? So there was a study back in 2010 in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition that basically showed that higher saturated fat intake was linked to higher risk of protein in the urine. Remember, protein in the urine is a surrogate for kidney disease or kidney damage going on. So that was one of the earlier studies that showed that there is a link between higher saturated fat and kidney disease. There's another study 2013 in the frontiers, I'm sorry, this was in the Journal of Internal Medicine, and they also showed the link between higher saturated fat intake going on and kidney disease as well going on. So, so far, what we know is those are the linkage, but probably the best study was actually done in rats, and that was in the Frontiers in Nutrition in 2019. And what they showed was that as you fed these rats a high-fat diet, specifically high in saturated fat, they actually had higher amount of fat accumulating inside the kidney. They also showed that all those inflammatory cytokines that were concerned about, they all shot up, they became really high. Those glomeruli, which are those little tiny balls that are inside the kidney that are part of the nephron, the, the unit of the kidney, they started to shrink. And overall, the kidney function in the rats actually went down. So the strongest link that we have for saturated fat comes from our animal data going on. Now, medium chain triglycerides are, on the other hand, a little bit different. And the reason they're different is, is because when you consume them, they get used by your liver right away and get turned into energy right away. So the whole concept behind MCT is that they're not stored inside the body. They're used as an energy source. And that's why they've been used in a variety of different places going on. One of the studies that was done uh, was an abstract that was presented uh, a couple of years back where they basically showed at a stroke conference that patients who had just had a stroke and had renal dysfunction at the same time going on, they were worried about feeding them high protein diets. So instead they gave them MCT oil. And what they showed was that they were able to keep these patients from uh, becoming malnourished. And at the same time, nothing happened to their GFR going on. So the MCT oil for that short duration did not affect it. But so as far as MCT oil is concerned, the concept there is, is we just don't know enough about it to harm or to help. The best study so far is really very short-term data, and that short-term data that MCT oil is not harmful. Now, coconut oil is unique in that the majority of it is saturated fat, and there's a little bit of medium-chain triglycerides in there. So if you're truly looking for MCT oil, you can get the MCT oil that's made from um, coconut oil, but that just means that they've concentrated and gotten the rest of the material out of there. But just taking coconut oil would not be a good idea because that's predominantly saturated fat versus medium chain triglycerides. Right now it's neutral because we just don't know enough. Short-term studies say it will not harm. So there you have it. Saturated fat, probably not the best thing in a kidney diet. Medium chain triglycerides, most likely probably not any harm to it. As always, shoot us any questions you guys have, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.